Hello, I'm Bill West, Motion Specialist with McNaughton McKay. Today I'm going to show you two quick and easy methods to tune a Kinetix servo drive. Both of these tuning methods apply to Rockwell Automation's Kinetix 5500 and Kinetix 5700 SIP motion servo drives. Both of these demonstrations assume that the axis is properly configured, the tuning values are still at the default values, the axis is electrically checked out and ready to enable and move and the axis is properly sized to meet the performance requirements for the application. Now we'll go to Studio 5000 program, programming software. We're going to select the axis out of the motion group that you want to tune. Double click on the axis name. The axis property windows appears. We'll go to the general tab or general category and we'll sec select the application type which defaults to basic. And we'll change it to either point to point or tracking whichever your application is. This application is a point-to-point -point application. You'll notice that four asterisks appear on the left-hand side of the menu bar. This means that values in these fields have changed. We need to we'll click apply to accept those changes. Next we'll go to the load category. And the load ratio here defaults to zero change the value to 1. Click Apply and then click Yes to accept the changes. Now practice with your axis and see how the axis responds. If you don't get the response you want, incrementally increase this number to 2, maybe even to as high as 10. Typically a range of 4 to 7 is a good number. Note that too high of a number can create instability in the axis. Now we'll talk about Load Observer. Load Observer is an adaptive tuning control loop that runs inside the kinetics drive. This loop continually estimates the mechanical load on the motor and compensates for it. Load Observer automatically compensates for changing inertia, compliance, and torque disturbances. We'll go back to Studio 5000 and we'll select the other axis in this application. We'll go to the Auto-Tune category and change the application type from Basic to Custom. Next, go down and turn off the Torque Low Pass Filter. Click Apply to accept those changes. We'll go to the Load category next and verify that the load ratio is set to zero. Next, we'll go to the Observer category configuration defaults to disabled, we'll pull the pull down down and select load observer with velocity estimate. Click apply and yes to accept those changes. Now test your axis. Hopefully one of these two applications will help you with your tuning. For additional questions or more videos like this, please visit our website.